I want to say that this is a wonderful honor for New Horizons to have the privilege of your time today to join with us in a celebration, what I call a celebration of the possibilities. The possibilities that exist for every person that we will support and serve through this building. And our building really is only a vehicle. It's a facility where people can work from and work out of and become productive, contributing citizens of our wonderful community here in Cheverly and in Prince George's County. And we want to share this special day with you. It's a gray day, but the good news is there's no snow. And this is also not just a gray day, it's a green day. Because what's going to be going on in this building is green. It's going to create jobs for people. It's going to help the environment. It's going to work with local business and industry and national companies. We're going to be working with everybody from the Library of Congress to the FBI to all kinds of organizations. So we're going to create jobs. We're going to bring new life back into this vital building that served the community for so many years with the fire station. It's now going to serve the community as a community center and a community business enterprise. And we're just really thrilled about today being the official ribbon cutting and moving in in the next couple of weeks to give people new lives, new hope. Work and productivity is our mission. And while we celebrate this day, it could not have happened without the help of certain people that are sitting in this, under this tent. And the reason that we rented this is because we wanted this to be a really intense experience for you. <laughs> this county, Prince George's County, I want to say is a, a wonderful place to work for a social service agency. It's a great place for our folks that we support and our experience working with this county government has been wonderful. And we benefit from good support from this county and a great environment to grow and to provide jobs. And the person that is at the top of our list as far as making this happen today is our county executive, Rashawn Baker. So I'd like to I'd like to turn the podium over to County Executive Baker to bring us greetings from the county. County Executive. Thank you very much. Oh, I see neighbors. I, first of all, I want to say this is so great. It was a, a long commute for me, right around the corner. Um, you know, it's interesting. I get to welcome this uh, beautiful facility and. Um, you know, a couple of people I'd like to thank from our staff. Uh, first of all, our police chief, Mark Basher, done a great job. Fire chief, I'm sorry. That's the kind of week I'm having. It's a long week. Um, but Mark has done a, a, a great job and came in. We looked at this station here and what we were going to do with it. Um, but we wanted to make sure when we took it offline, one that we could make sure that we could respond back, respond to emergencies here in, uh, here in Chevrolet, but also uh, what would go in here and how do we find a new use and a new home. And so having New Horizons come into this place has been a tremendous benefit to the county. The other person that, that has really uh, done a tremendous job and makes my job a lot easier, she and her team, and then it's uh, Betty Francis, our Deputy CAO for Health and Human Services and education so she doesn't have a uh, she doesn't have a full plate <laughs> but no we're Mark Peter we're really uh, pleased with this um, I was here when we when you were just beginning and now to see that it's uh, it, it's open it's ready and um, we're not only going to be providing jobs but we're also going to be doing recycling and I think Betty was telling me that we're going to be able to hire folks um, in the county, they're going to bypass uh, the process and get right in there. So we're creating all kinds of jobs here, and this is going to be great for us. We can give them a round of applause for that. And, 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 and finally, thank you for your commitment uh, to, uh, to this community and to this county. Thank you. Thank you, County Executive. 
I want to uh, also recognize, I think some of the people you already acknowledged, but I was going to ask uh, Chief Mark Bashir to say a few words about the past, the present, and the future. Yeah, this this uh, fire station served the community for many years. Uh, it, it was uh, at one time the hub of activity. As the community grew and as the fire service grew and stations were repositioned, um, frankly the location became obsolete. Uh, we struggled for a while to find a suitable uh, use for the facility and I appreciate the county executive uh, bringing this option to the to the table for us and the opportunity to repurpose a fire station to still be a community service, to still be part of the community is something that I'm very proud of and I'm, I'm proud to be here today to go from the groundbreaking where we were frankly a dingy old firehouse to a beautiful new facility here today that's going to help the community for years to come. So thank you very much. A couple other folks from uh, the county that we wanted to recognize. I, I'm not sure they're here or not, but one is Floyd Holt from the Office of Central Services, who's been a, uh, probably complaining that I call him every other day about fixing the sidewalk or getting the building, the facility ready. So thank you, Floyd. And uh, I'm not sure if Tom Hindler is here from the administration department. He had indicated he was coming, but we thank everybody from the county, the county team, and it's been terrific. Uh, we also want to recognize from the county council, um, Mayor, county, sorry, the county council, uh, town council, MJ Coolen from the town of Cheverly. MJ. <laughs> and Mayor Mike Callahan, I believe, was coming, and I'm not sure if he's here or not, but we thank Mike for working with us hand in hand to make this a really local, you know, community center, a resource center both for the town of Cheverly and the county and the state. We also want to recognize a uh, partnership with the Chamber of Commerce. David Emanuel is here. David from the Bowie Chamber of Commerce. And incidentally, to put a plug in, on May 8th, uh, we're working with the Bowie Chamber to do a charity golf tournament, which will help pay for this building. So come out and uh, improve your swing with us on May 8th. There's information inside on that. Um, when you do a building, when you do any kind of renovation project, there are two key people that make it work. That's your architect and your construction company. And New Horizons really lucked out picking, I think, the best architects in the state, certainly the best uh, construction company. So from our architects, I'd like to recognize Kathy Cherry Architects. And Kathy is stuck in New York City, apparently. Um, but we do have the two people that made it really come together, and that's Ashley Marshall. Ashley, please stand up. And Ashley is the, the best taskmaster in town on everything from toilet paper rolls to ceiling foundations. She's terrific. And also behind the scenes doing the design work, a lot of design work, is Brian Bassingdale. Brian. and our intern with Kathy Cherry. Thank you. Then the guys with the hammers and the nails and actually doing the work are amazing. We we're lucky to work with McKenzie Contracting and we've been fortunate that they've been just the most competent, great people in town to work with. And uh, the uh, principal and the president and CEO is here with us, Marty Kopsky. Marty, thank you for <laughs> thank you for bringing your team together, Steve King and Chris Van Hollen. They've been nothing but a pleasure to work with. And please, no more change orders, okay? <laughs> Just joking. Um, from the legislature, we had two invited guests, at least uh, Diana, Delegate Diana Farrell from District 47A. Thank you for being with us, Delegate. And Delegate Chris Valderrama, I believe, was coming. I'm not sure if 
she's here or not, from District 26. And then three legislators that we want to acknowledge that could not be here because they're working hopefully on the state budget for disabilities and improving money that we need. But uh, they get Delegate Marvin Holmes, Delegate Christine Valentino Smith, and former Delegate Jim Hubbard, who approved the bond grant that got this project off the ground and going. So I want to recognize those three delegates that have been key to making this project come together. We're really pleased to be a network participant also with uh, Recycle and Cycle Point, a national organization that's working with us on e-recycling. And it's going to be exciting and really great to do green jobs and keep all of that out of the landfill. And we're also going to do doc secure document shredding and we're going to help celebrate you know, our ribbon cutting, which should be green, but it's red. Red being our budget, which we're trying to make black, but we're going to be cutting that in a few moments. Again, we're a community business enterprise. We want to be part of the community. We want to help individuals become fully contributing members of society. And a lot of our folks are here in the audience today. They're going to be working here. So I want to give those guys a round of applause. <laughs> I would like to next introduce uh, Charles Hall to give our Pledge of Allegiance, our Vice President from our Board of Directors. Charlie? Did we lose Charlie? There he is. Since we don't have a flag under here, can you stand and face me? <laughs> Those of you who are former military, if you would render the hand salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and God bless America and God bless PG Prince George's County. What makes New Horizons great is our wonderful, incredible staff, people that I'm privileged to work with. And one of those wonderful, great staff people is here today, Pam Cook, one of our service coordinators, who's going to lead us in the invocation. Pam? Good afternoon. All heads bow in prayer, please. Dear God, first of all, thank you for allowing us to see another day. Thank you for the opportunity for New Horizons to give opportunities to uh, our individuals with disabilities in this grand opening of the new facility here in Chevrolet. I want to thank uh, the local and county officials, the administrators and staff of New Horizon, the contractors, Purple, Cherry Architect, and the board members, and all those that contributed to opening this wonderful facility that we are here today in the ribbon cutting and celebration. In Jesus' name and God's name, amen. I'd like to call up the, uh, the big boss, the uh, president of the board of directors of New Horizons, a woman that's been dedicated as an incredible volunteer who does not just volunteers but gives her heart and soul. So I'd like to ask Dee Hobbs to come up and uh, say some words. You thought I was excited when we did the groundbreaking. I am ecstatic today. This is so great. And to see what this was and how what it is now, I'm hoping everybody has had or will take the opportunity to go through the tour and see exactly what we have got done here. Thank you very, very much, everyone that's helped. Thanks, Mr. Baker. Um, 
I would also like to introduce the board members who have worked so hard and do so much. Uh, Mr. Charlie Hall, Vice President. <laughs> Mr. Jim Zebolt, Treasurer. <laughs> My buddy Michael North. <laughs> Ken Kearns. Ooh. Peggy Island. Woo. Oh, okay. Mr. Lorenzo Green. <laughs> Keitha Williams. There she is over there. And I also would like to thank Jonathan Green, who has always been really great at telling me if there's anything that we can do to help. My buddy, Jonathan. Also, thank you again very, very much. This is such a great time. I guess a lot of you know that I am also a foster parent and have been for 37 years. And I have three individuals, that, uh, three young men with disabilities, and that g two of them go to New Horizons. So I can see from both sides all of the great things that are happening. Thank you all very, very much. And please, make sure you stop in and have a refreshment and take advantage of seeing how great our building is. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Hobbs. We've, uh, we've had our greeting from our dignitaries, Mr. Baker and uh, Mr. Cat Mayor Callahan. I don't know if he's here. Um, if not, MJ, would you step in for the town of Cheverly? Thanks, everyone. The last time we were here, it was a hot summer morning. It seems so great that spring is coming and there's a promise for warm weather again. I'm really pleased to be able to participate in the festivities today. As you know, this area around us called Tuxedo has seen some really challenging conditions over the past several years. Economic development has rocketed around the Washington suburbs, but the inner beltway areas like Tuxedo have simply been overlooked as people drive by on the highways to open land. Now smart people are realizing the potential, the value, and the promise of close by, easily accessible areas within the Beltway perimeter. Resources like adaptable structures, public transportation, ready infrastructure, and established cooperative communities like ours make these areas ripe for 20th, 21st century development. We welcome New Horizons to our neighborhood with the hopes that this is the first of many innovative reuses of the Tuxedo Corridor that will restore the economic vibrancy and the sought after use is appropriate to our community. Chevrolet welcomes New Horizons and I know the Mayor and my colleagues on the Town Council will continue to work to make Tuxedo Corridor one of the premier gateways to Prince George's County. I wish you all the best and again welcome. Thank you, Council Coolen. Closing remarks, I have the, the job of kind of wrapping up the comments, and I can only say that this building to us represents an investment. Our Board of Directors is committed to investing in the future, not just the future of the town of Cheverly or Prince George's County, but the future for the folks, many of whom are in this room right now. Their opportunity, their jobs, their livelihood, their quality of life, those are the things that mean something to us. A building is just a facility. What happens in the building is important. And we pledge that we will have the highest quality services and assistance that will be possible in the state of Maryland and hopefully nationally. And I say nationally because we are pleased to announce that we just were a recipient of a national award from our national lobby group for the state of Maryland, the only winner for the state of Maryland was New Horizons and our employee. So on a national level, 
I think we're doing things that make a difference, and I believe we're doing things that improve people's quality of life. And that's the exciting part for me, for our staff, and for everybody under this tent. I think that we are not, you know, want to also welcome our neighbors. We invited everybody in this community to join us today. Many neighbors are in the room, and we appreciate it. Uh, our neighbor John has just arrived as well, who was such a great neighbor that he did the landscaping for this building for us for about a year. Great neighbors make great communities. And that's, that's what New Horizons has been and will plan to do and be good neighbors. This is a community center, community facility. We want to open the doors to anybody and everybody, especially employers and especially people that will provide opportunities for folks. Um, and we look forward to a bright future and we look forward to cooperative relationships with all of you folks. So I want to ask you to come in and look around, walk around the building, look at it with the pride that we look at it with. And while you're there, have some chip, chip cookies. So I want to thank everybody again. And I do want to recognize three staff people of mine that helped make this happen, actually happen and possible. First is my deputy director, Ron Vaughn, standing over there. The guy that works on bathrooms, dumpsters, and everything else in between. Just a terrific job in every detail. Leslie Pruitt, our Marketing and Development Director. <laughs> and we were working on your name tags last night till the wee hours, so hope you appreciate this beautiful name tag. Thank you, Leslie. And Cynthia Swift-King is running the program in this building. Cynthia O'Reilly. And Rich Lambert, our business director, is very happy because if you look to the right, you'll see a new forklift. And that's the kind of stuff that turns Richard on. So Richard's in there with his forklift and is helping us get the contracts, the business, and the relationships that we have for making this building a success for every single person. So with that, I'll say come on in, have a bite, look around, and thank you so much, everyone, for coming today. We're going to move over to the ribbon cutting. And here we have the ceremonial scissors. So I'd like to ask uh, County Executive Baker. Hey, please, on three, one, two, and three. All right, we can, we can cut a ribbon anytime you guys are ready. Someone give us a countdown, please. One, two, two three. three. Cut. There. Yeah. Yeah.